Okay, YouTube. Here it is. The 1966 Ford Galaxy. It's been with me for about two months. I've done a couple things to it. See, it has the uh, Thunderbolt hood. I don't believe they made a Thunderbolt Galaxy. But they do make the hood for it, so there it is. Came with the car. It's flat black. I'm not sure if that's primer. That's the way the car came. It's got American racing wheels on it, 15 inch. There's some Cooper tires. Those are 275 in the rear. Got the dual exhaust, flow masters, H pipe. I say she has a pretty good stance. It's all stock suspension. It's got drum brakes all the way around. They're a little scary. Let's take a look at the interior. Bench seat. That's how they fold. Get this door. Here's your door panel. And here's the cluster. These are the uh, vinyl white gauges overlay. This here is a cover that I put on there. Came with the uh, purchase of the vehicle, all the extra parts. These are the gauges that were underneath here. Uh, the ashtray is missing. I have it over there. It's pretty cool how they did it back then. That's your flasher. C500. There's my air conditioning. You just turn that knob right there. You can see they're all pitted. This car must have been sitting outside for a while. A lot of moisture must have gotten in here. And missing headliner. See that light still works back there, that dome light. There's the package tray. Looks like someone put a layer of fiberglass over it. I guess to save it. Those are in pretty good shape. And that one's not so bad. It's missing the uh, armrests. And there's the carpet. I don't know. Could be original. Maybe. It does need a little patch work here. And a little on that side. Not much though. Well, this is the plan. I'm going to remove this, install the ones that I refurbed. I'm going to remove this piece here. See if you notice it's blocking the, 
the light in there for the illumination. So this way I can get it to shine a little brighter. It's reading 77,000 miles. Don't know if that's original. Probably not. That's the tag that came with it. All right, let's go see the engine. Okay, I'm going to need two hands for this. There it is. It's your 351 Windsor. It does have its factory transmission. They call it the Cruzomatic Optima battery. This will be changed soon. This is more for stereo systems. I don't know what the guy was thinking. Got your MSD ignition. It doesn't have a vacuum advance. And if you can see right there, when I got the car, it wouldn't run. It would start, but it would sputter and spit and backfire. So if you notice, I marked it where they had it. And this is how far I had to advance it. I have it set to start almost at 20 degrees and then the uh, centrifugal advance take over when I read for a total of 36 I believe who knows could be higher but she runs great she used to overheat a lot wouldn't run straight I also experienced some vapor lock I had to put this fuel line in here reroute it it used to come from under here and run this way along here and then I added that 3 8 spacer aluminum spacer there keep the heat away from the carb that's an outer Brock 500 CFM Here's my MacGyver kick down. Got that to work. That wasn't connected. This was tied off to the firewall. It's got some Headman headers. One line. Drum brakes. Here's your coil and your MSD. Here's the relay for the fan. Got that wired up. That wasn't working. There's your electric fan. She stays pretty cool.